Alberto Marquez. The crew chief is the home plate umpire. Everybody is ready to go. And we're underway with a fastball in for his 52 strikeouts. 0 oh 2. That one up and in on him. Strike three call. So now Randy Arozarena. Looks like they're a first pitch slider for four. Yeah, he is a very exciting player. Just inside, two balls and and a good fastball foul to back. And hoping that it leads into a very productive and exciting October for this team. Is that splitter missing wild card spot right now? Foul it off. Hit well down the left field line. That is a fair ball. Over to get it is Merrifield, and into second with a double is a Rosarena. Uh, Rosarena is an exciting player. That's his 37th double of the. Wander Franco is the batter. Hitting third play. As it was, he missed about 12 days. 0 oh, and 2. That was on July the 2nd, the first base dugout. 0 oh, 2. And a ground ball up the middle, backhanded by Espinal, and the throw to first is in time. Good play to get again. Yeah, hip tightness is the term used by John Schneider before the game. Nothing major. Ground ball to short. To the Clemente Museum, guys. Hazel, thank you. Uh, very briefly, it's a great mule uh, players for, and not only for players from Puerto Rico, from so many different places. Look at that's been consistent from day one of spring training, working on his shortstop play. Quickly on Margot. Here's David Peralta now. Looks at a strike, and it's one and one. So back to his charitable efforts beyond the playing field. There's a base hit into left for Peralta. And of course, Clemente tragically died on New Year's Eve 1972. And the Dodgers, obviously, the most progressive organization in baseball at the time. And he tried out as a. But the first offer was refused as they wanted him to finish his high school education. His father insisted that he assists. He was accurate, he was quick. And you know, the comparisons to. And if that's the same type of player he was for a long time. But he had a tremendous arm. pinch hit for him. They just tried to hide him. But it was interesting that Branch Rickey was the general man. And ball four is carrying three catchers. Well, one of the dim, and that was the first game of the semifinal round in the playoffs in Winter Ball. Here's one looped into right center for a base hit by Pinto. Peralta will come in to score. And at the deadline. And he pops up a bunt, and here comes Vladdy to make the catch. Two down. Yeah, the that's race. a Tampa Bay trademark. And in under his hands for ball. This ball. Driven to left field. Diaz has launched one into the seats for a three run homer. And the Rays go out in front four to nothing. Looked like a splitter. He was a little bit out in front. That's only his ninth home run of the season, but it's a big hole. For the Rays to lead four to nothing, here's Randy Arozarena. We'll really get into one. And a fly ball down the left field line, a long run. And the 0-2 to a Rosarena. Bounces it foul. Oh. 
And a fastball foul straight put together. Season series at seven apiece. Fouled back. Boy, he is having a pretty good at Rips it foul down the third baseline. And he got him. Swing and a miss. Four nothing Rays as Wander Franco leads off the third. Sends one foul to begin a series in Milwaukee tomorrow. Hey, wouldn't that be kind of cool? Watch that play out. The two hopper down to Vladdy. One down. Of their games against Houston in the last two weeks of the season. I don't know how you feel. I don't. I don't love that. I think if you series in between, you're going to see the same pitchers in that rotation. And if a team is banged up or slumping, any ship may have today off, then they'll go into Anaheim to play the Angels, and then after that, ease the impact of traveling so far out to the West Coast. Fastball swung on and missed. Gosman again. And, you know, it's so unpredictable to tell what those bottom dwellers teams are going to be doing. You're going to see a lot of play. Splitter fouled off one and one on Emmanuel. So your learning curve isn't as keen as it should be. Just calling games, making in, making in games adjustments, he just doesn't have yet. The Blue Jays thought that decisions to be made by Gabby Moreno back there. Right, and you know, basic still the challenge. Check swing, and it's a full count now on. against the Blue Jays and a late swing and a fastball is Gosman the Orioles are five and a half back to the Blue Jays this one hit hard and passed a diving Espinal into right field that'll be a base hit for David Peralta it's a bit of a different looking situation in the outfield they're not they're a different version of themselves. He had hamate bone surgery hook for the hamate bone fractured and had to take it out. He missed a bunch of games. Taylor Walls has filled in admirably at shortstop. Now they've got Jonathan Aranda up from the bottom. back to the Zanino injury obviously. In the air to right center. And it's Jackie Bradley Jr. to make the catch for the first out. And he's been staked to an early lead. Swing and a miss by. Vladdy coming over for a look. Rays, they go back and play on turf at home as well. And a swing and a miss, two down. Arrow in foul territory. And he's popped this one up back of the plate. Moreno back. Line drive right field. And there is Teoscar Hernandez. And you look at the list of previous winners. It's it's a who's who of baseball for sure. Yeah. Last year Nelson baseball have received that honor. And go back a little further. You see Albert Pujols, John Small, Barry Larkin, Cal Ripken Jr., Dave Stewart. Pretty impressive list. Ground ball down to third, scooped up by Chapman. And a bouncer up the middle. Here comes Espinal. And finished the thought, but everybody knows what the next word would have been. He said, Every single throw is right in my chest. You know, he. Did pretty well down the left field line by Franco. Merrifield, though, is. And it, it's really interesting how they're all in the lineup today. It's pretty cool. Um, Venezuela. Franco, as we mentioned, from Dominican Republic. 
Harvey Gillock and Latino players because of Jackie Robinson and Roberto Clemente. Yeah. And the enormous. And more. Yeah. Yeah, it is truly a global game. You know, look at Blue Jay franchise history and how. Harris scale. Line to third and right at Chapman as Harold Hills are in town. Yeah, they, they're not finished yet with this game today. To right field. And again, right at Teoscar Hernandez. Two down for David Peralta. As Gosman starts him with a strike. Gosman has given up just one hit. Sides of the diamond. You remember in the 80s when you played for the Blue. Houston was known as a team. One and two, the count on Peralta. And the swing and a miss. He got at 89 pitches right now. And a fastball in for a strike to Isaac. Fly ball to left field and deep, and it will go. Paredes with his 19th home run on the season, and that makes it five to nothing. Rays. Paredes got off to a pretty good start with the power. Rene Pinto, the batter now. Zach. And this one pops straight up. The shed. One Pete Fairbanks down there. There's Jose Siri. And again, these two teams will meet for. Blue Jays have the off. And then they'll they'll have to figure something out down at the trot. They again they could push it back a little bit because they're off day on the 29th. In between the Yankees Red Sox series, their final homestand. 2 2. And in the air to center, but room for Bradley. He's some combination. Whoops. You got to believe it'll be some combination of Marius Ball Club pitching this deep into the game. It's interesting because should they make the kind of figure it out turn by turn? Strike three call.